to my channel. I am here in Cape Town for the round five of the Formula E and I am so excited. As you know, I'm spending all season nine of the Formula E with the Espenske on the racetracks and off the racetracks. And I will take you along and show you how this weekend develops. because I really like the organizations like Formula E try to embrace the womanhood in motorsport. I really love that. crazy very often when I say that but I love doing track walks because it gets you so much closer to what the to what the drivers actually experience here so I love it but it's very hot track walk done and now we are heading to the media center to get some editing done because let me tell you it's a long trip to get to the media center I don't like it let me show you here is the pit lane area this is the bridge that we have to take to get over, which means because our boxes are on this side, not on that side, we have to walk all the way around, over the bridge, down here, and all the way to the front to get to the media center and to get up there into the media center. But that just means we need to be more scheduled, take our time for editing, take our time for content. Next up are some interview sessions with the drivers in the media pen and let's see what they think about the upcoming weekend. Of course, all eyes are on you after Hyderabad. You showed what you got. How do you handle this kind of pressure, if it's even pressure at all for you? Oh, it's not pressure. You know, we're still very early in the, in the season. Um, I still don't think we, we have the performance to uh, uh, to win every race. Um, so we um, after India we realized that okay yeah we won, but it, it's not like we won thanks to the performance that was great. So we still have a lot of areas that we need to improve. Uh, we know what we need to do, and uh, as long as race after race we're able to improve the car, I'm going to be very happy, even if we don't win. Uh, but um, all I want to see is you know improvement from the car. What is your favorite part about being here in, in Cape Town? Um, my favorite part, I mean, obviously racing, you know, that's why we come here. Uh, it's the first race uh, here in, in South Africa. It's been coming for, uh, for a little while and uh, yeah, to have it in such a nice location is, uh, is just cool for, uh, for everyone, you know, for the drivers, but also for the fans. But you seem to feel very confident. You already found a new hat, so you're feeling very vacation-y. So I think uh, you like the vibe in general. Yeah, it's a good beach vibe here. Um, it's, it's nice. So uh, yeah, I got myself a little bucket hat, um, but you know, we've got a job to do. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's great to be here. It's great to you know, have this uh, atmosphere around and um, hopefully we can have a good weekend. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks. absolutely mandatory is the media briefing which is where all the photographers and videographers have to go to to get the vest which shows that you are an official videographer photographer and you know all the rules and that I have to do now. It's Saturday, which means it's race day. As you can see, behind me is the pit lane area, which is where we are going right now because free practice two is on the clock. And I think, Kevin, we need to go. We need to be quick. Aniba! Thank you. 
Motorsport can be very unlucky and unfair, doesn't it? So Jeff actually did really good in qualifying. He came, uh, he made it into the quarterfinals. Unfortunately, he didn't make it past the first duel, so not into the semifinals. But it was close. It was really, really close. And poor Stoffel, he was really on his quick lap um, in the group qualifyings, and then there was a crash and he had to slow down. I mean, it could be worse, it could have been his crash, but nonetheless, he's so on it and it keeps being taken away from him. But we will get there, we will get there. So now, media center, um, more content creation, and pretty soon it's time for the race. to their heroes, the race drivers. I truly hope you can hear me, but we're back on the grid. It's my absolute favorite place to be on a racetrack. By the way, starting positions moved a little. We have uh, Jeff starting on P5 and Stoffel starting on P12. So that's not too bad. And I'm very, very hopeful that this whole race is gonna turn out Good, let's put it like that. but what a fantastic thing to be part of a team that does P2 and you can see them on the podium. P7 for Stoffel was not bad either. I think we're moving in the right direction. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, leave them below and I will answer them in the next video and I will see you in one of my next vlogs or on the racetrack. Ciao zusammen!